Hi, my name is Maxine. I am 33 years old, originally from New York, but have moved around a lot looking for the right place for me in life in general. I have been in Arcana for just a, under a week so far, and I already know that that place is within me, which I don't think anybody could have told me. Um, I couldn't have believed it unless I experienced it myself. Um, when I first got here, I wanted to trust that there was something real here. I was definitely afraid of what ayahuasca could be, but then I trusted because it's natural, it's from nature. And I've heard good things about it, and it's definitely, I to start I would say I couldn't even call this a psychedelic in the way that we know it. I think that's, maybe that definition translates different to different people, but this isn't something, some drug you take to be in a headspace. It's like just like penicillin or anything else that comes from plants. This is something that works with our biology and kind of allows this cleansing of what this world has brought to us um, in the form of even the dieta to prepare, um, realizing what kind of foods I was eating and how I was taking care of myself and my body. Uh, just, it already was making me a better person to myself and this medicine has allowed to unblock in its medicinal way things that I couldn't see for myself. Each ceremony has been different but gentle, not as scary as I thought it would be. And even the scary parts didn't have so much to do with the medicine as much as what I had to face for my own reality. It really, again, it wasn't an, a headspace. It became very internal. I got to hear and understand my own voice for the first time. I have, at 33, I can account for 30 years of pretty much daily trauma. I don't even believe that I've lived this life <laughs> and I've been strong, but here I can be everything strong and weak and fight for my life and I've just looked in every single avenue and never found this. I've tried different religions, I've tried different positive things like working out and you know just anything we think we know about motivation and um, you know therapy. I think that there's a lot of things in this world that want to help but Unless we connect with nature, we're not going to get that help. And I realized that in connecting with nature. Um, it's no secret that the Amazon rainforest is a very healing place, which is part of why it's being conserved and fought for. And it's true scientifically, and being here has proved itself. The medicine that grows organically and just literally for our healing is something so incredible. I don't know if the pharmaceutical companies could handle that. <laughs> I would say, should I cut that part out? <laughs> I would say there always, there's so many fake things in this world to, to mimic nature and we don't have to. If we just come back to nature, we come back to our true nature. I think whether you believe in religion or not, um, there's a consistent narrative throughout history that shows that nature is here to sustain us. Um, and we have a lot of beautiful lessons to learn from that that I'm gaining at this point. Um, if anybody is on the verge of this, I know this has not been easy again because I have to face my true self. but. I want to be me, not what has happened to me in the world, and I'm not alone in that. I think there's a lot of people crying out for that, and they don't know where to turn, and we're, we're trying all of these unnatural things or 
trying to tap in what we think is natural and not even realizing it but again natural is what you think it is it's nature <laughs> and um again i wouldn't call this a psychedelic i was definitely afraid of losing my mind because <laughs> i thought i was already losing my mind but all i realized was that i was losing my true self and i was going a little mad feeling like i couldn't be me and now that i am this arcana is more than just the plant medicine. It's a completely sacred space. It is so safe and trustworthy. There's such a respect for all of nature here from every person that's involved. And that's healing in itself. You know, these people have gotten in touch with nature and with themselves. And it's a big sacrifice to myself to be here to, to fight and heal for myself but I, I think it's a bigger sacrifice for what the ownership and the facilitators and the shamans have done to guide anybody like me who's hurting and doesn't know what to do I've seen people shy already shy away already um, out of fear and I think it's more scary to shy away and never know your true self than to just Fight for it once and gain your true self and I think that the revolution was always here we just had to stop cutting down trees and making fake versions of what's already naturally ours and that means a lot to me you know I never wanted to live in a fake world and even my first ayahuasca experience I thought this might be a sham I was ready to expose the retreat and <laughs> I wasn't willing to lie to myself and it came on strong but gentle to show me that this is real and it gets realer every day and I can't wait to see myself two weeks later. I'm here for three weeks and I'm not willing to shy away even if I think I know myself in a couple of days. I want to dig as deep as possible. If you can make it here, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Do it for yourself because this is really what the world needs. We're not really doing for ourselves. And I just found that we've become comfortable. I've become comfortable being this whole life for 30 years and comfort wasn't healthy. This discomfort of breaking free from everyone's opinions and what we think we're supposed to be is, there's just nothing more healing than being ourselves. and. I'm not afraid of myself anymore and I just want to be more me <laughs> and when I come out of this I hope that I trust I'm confident that this energy will transcend I'm learning that as much as I'm saying now there will be a point that I don't have to say anything me being me will walk in that air as I heal people can heal too and the true proof is the people who've seen my life and they don't even know what they would do with it to see me like this is a true miracle and um, so if they get to see this <laughs> and they're still afraid, you know me better than anyone else and more than I knew myself and this transcends to everyone else. Like if you think you know yourself, you do. Stop thinking and get to know yourself. <laughs>